That's, that's our flower. Have you seen that one on the back? That's something we've done for what we're trying to do to our soils. And that's regenerate them. Trying to make people think about it and look at soil in a different way. Not it's just as dirt. You kind of need a degree of failure to actually kick you up the arse to get that degree of success. So there was a great um, catchphrase from Sir Ernest Rutherford, who was a New Zealander, and he went on to split the atom. And he always used to say, we haven't got the money, so we've got to think. And I always quite like that, because I think it's terribly easy to throw money at a problem. I spend my whole time marvelling at it and thinking, yeah, I could do that a bit cheaper. I suppose it started when I came back home, was without any agricultural education. I used to be a journalist and photographer. And um, I just came home and started asking questions as I would have done with a journalist, you know. How do you make money out of a 250 acre farm? And how do you reduce the cost of what you produce? And I kept asking and kept asking and trying to find out who had the lowest cost of production. And it was very simple because it's a very simple mathematical equation in terms of cost of production. And if you get a lot of grazed grass into cows, you get a lot of very cheap milk and very good quality milk. And so gradually we changed from a high input thing where we were putting a lot of grain into cows to something where we were 100% grass fed. You're really in experimental mode, aren't you? Yeah, I am at the moment. Completely experimental. Yes, I am. How does that feel? Exciting, because I can see all the vigour of, of this regrowth. There's cow pack here now. You know, we got dung worms in them now. And what are dung worms don't eat? I mean, the birds is getting in and spreading them, eating them. The habitat in, this, in these pastures is just different altogether. And that's the same in the soil. I'd be looking at the cows and the cows are telling me, this grass sucks. <laughs> you know, they, they'd be trying to eat stuff out of the hedgerows here, which is, you know, what we're famous for in Cornwall. And it wasn't until Jerry Brunetti opened my eyes and he'd taken off a lot of the forage samples from hedgerows and tested them through the traditional methods of testing cattle food and found that actually they had a much, much greater depth of minerals. And the cows tell you that, you know, they'll go off and go and graze all the trees. So you get this great mushrooming effect branching out over the fields. 